Hello everyone. Top left face cam, Allison Squids here. And welcome to the third part of my Cry of Fear Let's Play. Or playthrough, as you may call it. It's currently 11pm at night. I think 11.14. I always play this game close to midnight, because uh, that's the only time that's really acceptable to play a game like this. You know, I, I of course have my thoughts to say before I start on this game. I started a new format in the previous episode, where I have starting thoughts, gameplay, and parting thoughts. Into into the, this game, uh, my, my starting thoughts with this game, um, we're about to use some rope to go down, and um, I don't know what's going to be down there. More horrors uh, beyond comprehension. Maybe we will find that serial killer who's been writing all the notes. I'm pretty scared if that's going to be the case. Really scared. I don't want to come across that guy. But, you know, we should do the world a justice and come across that guy and kill him. You know, the world would be a better place, right? Without, you know, that child murderer around. So maybe maybe it's a good thing if we run into him. I got some comments on the last video. Uh, most of them are just, like, you know, positive comments. So thank you for those. I did get one comment uh, today, actually, from someone who had played Cry of Fear before. And he said, hey, uh, you're playing on easy mode. You should probably use your knife. You shouldn't use your gun. Uh, you're going to want to save those magazines for when you really need them. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to take that dude's advice. So I'm going to go against my natural instinct to use a gun, which is safe. Uh, I'm going to use a knife, apparently, uh, and to try to save my bullets. It's going to be more terrifying that way. I'm going to take more hits that way, but, uh, you know, I got to save those bullets for something. Someone posted a comment uh, saying, like, what if Simon's just tweaking out and none of this is real and he's actually killing like, you know, what if like the zombies he encounters are just regular people? That's an interesting theory. I don't know if it's true, but that would make it kind of scary if Simon is just breaking into people's apartments and killing people. That, that is kind of what he's doing. Uh, but yeah, enough talking. Let's get started. Okay. First thing we're doing. Do a wheel knife with the phone. We're gonna follow that commenter's advice. Let's use some rope. Oh, I have it in my inventory pride. Here it is. Ah, okay. It went down. And I said to say this was gonna be a shorter episode, partly because of my rambling. Uh, at the beginning, but also because I don't want to get scared too much today, man. I want to just get through a little bit of this game and, you know, just, you know, have a good time. I can't have much of a good time, but, you know. This motherfucker's running! Okay. That wasn't too bad. I don't like the screeching and running. I lost a little bit of health, but hey. Uh, you know. Saved on however many bullets I may have used. And you know what? I did better than before, right? You know, episode two, Owls and Squids, he would have, like, you know, just, ah, ah, you know, flip the, flip the mouse camera. Oh, God, I can't see anything. Oh, God, I can't shoot. Look at that. I saw that enemy there. I backed away, right? I kept, I kept them in my line of sight. I took a little bit of hits, but better, okay? I'm improving. But the enemies are improving, too. They're getting harder to kill. They're getting easier for them to kill me. They're getting stronger. I'm not scared of you. Okay. My bad. My bad. Oh, how do I get through the bars? Okay, so I did get kind of messed up by this little uh, demon lady here because I couldn't back up. There were bars here. On um, a lot of my knife hits just didn't land, so that's unfortunate. But I'm not getting as scared as I was, you know? But it's hella dark in here, man. I know the reason why it's dark. I don't have my brightness up. Okay. My brightness is on maximum now, and it's a lot better. At least a little bit better. Hey, anybody down here? My secret note number one. We're on the first floor. Ah, we're on the first floor! Wait, what? Basement key. 
So I'm not near the basement. I'm on floor three. I used rope to go down one floor. I thought I was gonna use the rope to go down to the to the ground. That's what rope is for. What can I do with this? I mean, clearly there's a magazine here. I'm meant to go through this, right? And this ain't gonna help. I've already been here, right? Yeah, okay. I can save progress again, I guess. Okay. I'm not good at dodging. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think that would have really helped for me to use a gun there, so... You know, it is what it is. I wasn't- I couldn't really back up. I suck at that. But I'm on easy, so... They're really fucking me up, man. So, I'm- The hallways are just gonna be filled with these enemies. Hey guys, voiceover owls and squids here. I completely forgot to open the door to the third floor here and take that Glock magazine that was hidden behind those bars. I guess I just forgot or I was just really scared of opening doors to random places and facing new enemies. Uh, well, probably a combination of those because obviously I wouldn't find a new enemy in the barred area where there were no enemies previously shown. I don't think the game would do that. But yeah, I did miss uh, a magazine here, so... That sucks. Maybe I'll go back in the next episode if I can do that. But yeah, I just wanted to point this out. Uh, no need to comment about how I missed a magazine here. I'm very well aware. Maybe someone up here? How many syringes I got? I don't know. I'm gonna need to use one soon though, unfortunately. Let's see. Jesus. They're just chewing me up, man. I mean, damn. Okay, something has something has to change with that. Because I can't keep taking hits like that, man. Okay, four hits with a knife. And I just need to dash, and I need to be good at dashing. These weren't here before. Oh no. You know something's gonna be in here. It looks different. Oh, dude, it's on the freaking wall. Everything's on the wall. I'm tweaking. Simon Cry of Fear is tweaking right now, bro. Mother f- ah, You got me. You got me there. They have a long dying animation. And I don't have my flashlight on, that sucks. I'm thinking like, should I use a morphine syringe? Why not, you know? Oh, that's locked. Interesting. I'm not gonna pick up that note again. Screw that. And another thing, I don't know the code to the basement.
I'm sorry. I'm not opening that door. It's all chained up. Okay, I can't open it. Even if I... Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Maybe they're trying to open it from there. Let me save, please. What the fuck are you? Fucking Michael Myers. Damn, he felt pretty nonchalantly. Michael Myers. Or Leatherface, that's who I'm thinking of. They kind of look the same. Why does it look like a freaking, like, dirty shower? Why are we in a pool right now? What is this? Okay, so Simon is 100% tweaking. You know, as long as I don't get attacked by two people at once, I think I can- I think I can stay having this low health. I think I'll be alright. Or maybe I just shouldn't risk it. You know what? No. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't want to risk it. I don't know if I'm going to come across some super strong enemy that does like a third of my health. And if I do, I won't have enough time. This is unfair. I'm at an angle. I freaking die! I've hit you so many times! Okay, so the best case scenario... That did almost a third of my health, so I don't know. But Was there something behind me, though? Because, like, that didn't look like one of those enemies. That looked like something else. At least I thought it was. I really love sending those spiky ladies after me, man. And I, I never figured out, um, the elevator code. It's another thing. We just never figured that out. I haven't had to use it. Stable location. Interesting. On the other side. Oh shit. Oh wait, hold on. I was gonna say something must be about to barge through one of those doors. That thing is me. Okay, now I know I know the guy in my comment section told me that I should conserve ammo. But when should I start using ammo? <laughs> That's the real question. Alright, you know what? Slot three, bam, All right? Slot three. Alright. That's all I gotta do. Just slot three. Bam. That's not quick at all. <laughs> but we're gonna try to do it. <laughs> Suicidal influence. I can't see nothing. I can't see nothing. I'm sorry, but I saw a ghost lady coming towards me, and she was slow, and that scared me. They put one behind me, which is crazy. Okay, I will try to stab one next time, but those seem like the type of thing where if they touch you, they, like, grab you. Because that's what happened to me just then. And, correct me if I'm wrong, but that said, tap mouse one to resist suicidal influence. Why is suspenseful music playing? I'm going backwards. Why is it playing suspenseful music? <laughs> it 
it played suspenseful running music when I was going backwards. That's weird. I'm going to load my game and do that scenario again, but I'm going to use my knife and see if that is a viable option. does work. But there's a little baby that comes out of her and tries to kill me. Okay. I lost a little more health, but I saved ammo. So pretty good. I guess the game is trying to punish you for trying to go back. Which is very slick of them. Not good of them. Okay, I need to dash. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna load that again. I can do better. one back here. Yeah, no. Alright, I was too close. I can do better. I know I can do better. I'm gonna load that again. Uh, my game crashing? I think my game just crashed. No! Half-Life Launcher is not responding. No. This can't be. It, it might be over, guys. <laughs> it might be over. Alright, guys, so it seems like, uh, you know, fate has, you know, decided that I should not play this game any longer. My recording says it, you know, it's roughly 27 minutes right now. Some of that is going to get edited out, probably. Uh, so this will be, like, maybe about 25, maybe 20 minutes episode. Currently, uh, you know, not counting the parting thoughts section, which I'm about to do right now. This is the parting thoughts section, obviously. I can't play anymore. Um, I already hit wait for program to respond. Nothing happened. Um, I could restart the game, but again, I feel like it was kind of meant to be. Um, I do really want to play more. I really want to play more. You know, if I was just playing this in my free time, I would probably, like, you know, close program, immediately start this back up. I'm loving this game right now. I'm getting into it. Um, I like, you know, reloading my saves and, you know, seeing what I can do better, repeating scenarios, you know, you know, I've, I've learned I can use my knife. Thank you. Thank you person who commented that because I saved like so much ammo probably from that. Um, I've learned, you know, something about those enemies, right? I wouldn't have learned that they have a little baby monster in them with knives. If I had just shot them, I learned, <laughs> I learned that from knifing them. I learned that they take four hits. I have learned that dashing is critical, and I've learned that in close spaces, I can't really dash, so I'm kind of screwed. Uh, yeah, I've learned a lot, and I was planning on loading my game to, you know, re you know, try again, and, you know, I was I was getting kind of nitpicky. I was trying to, you know, like, run through this, this area, you know, not taking, you know, much damage, you know, just getting through it like a pro, and uh, I guess there's just an issue with loading your games too many times. So maybe I'll watch out for that, or maybe I won't. Uh, if this happened earlier on in the episode, I would have just restarted. But again, you know, 27 minutes, it, you know, seems like a, a good cutoff point. Uh, you know, with this parting thoughts, it's probably like 30 minutes. So, you know, that that's pretty good, you know. I don't want it to get to like 40 minutes. That's that's too long. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, and by the way, the, the last episode, it was originally 40 minutes long. I cut out like 7 minutes of me running around and not figuring anything out. Yeah. Um... I apologize for that, for there not being much content in this episode. 
But this is mainly just like a teaser, honestly, because of how much I talked in the beginning. But yeah, we, we went down with the rope. We fought back through the apartments with those, you know, spike ladies who are scarier than the previous enemies we saw. We encountered a new type of enemy, and apparently if they grab you from behind, you have to click mouse one to avoid suicidal thoughts or something like that. It said something like that, uh, which is interesting. Sort of like Slender's grab mechanic in some uh, multiplayer Slender games. Okay, Roblox stop at Slender, that, that's what I'm referring to. Um, yeah, Simon is clearly tweaking because he went to the first floor and it was like a bathroom. It was like a dirty bathroom, all right? It looked like my college dorm bathroom down there, all right? It just, you know, dirty tiles and, you know, there's a, and like that one section was flooded. It looked awful. Uh, I love this so far, all right? I love this game. I think Simon's tweaking, but, you know, I, I love this game and I'm definitely going to continue this. So, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys like watching this because I like playing this. Goodbye. I, I think I think those are my parting thoughts. Goodbye.